Hi guys, pre-recorded Davlar here. And I would like to have a uh, special mention to certain Sunrise Rovers themselves who went out of their way after I gave them a little mention in my tweet saying that my new YouTube video was out. And they uh, when I retweeted it, as thanks to them, my video has more views than any other one on my channel. So, a special thank you to you guys. Yes guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of FM21, where today we will be taking on CB Hounslow United Reserves. So since I last recorded, we've played quite a few fixtures. I believe it's four in all. We scored a whole 19 goals in conceding two. We're just so on form right now, and I bet you can guess who's been banging the goals in for us. So we go to this game right here. It's this man, Grant Bryan. He's been on a cracking run yet again. Going once here. And he goes to this game where he scored five goals. Five of the six in that game. And the other goal was an own goal. And then he got sent off. So I know what you're thinking. Like, our main goal scorer has been sent off. Who are we going to be playing up top? Let's answer that question. I believe it was Tom Collins we started. How did he do? He scored four. <laughs> Even our second choice striker. It's just banging them in for fun for us right now. Grant Ryan scores five. Tom Collins goes, this is my chance. And bangs in four. And we go to Brentham. And Grant Ryan just scores five again. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. He just scores five again. It's like, there's no stopping our strikers. Also, since the last time I recorded, I've made a couple more advances just to bolster the squad a little bit. We've offered a contract to an Elliot Warren, a 23-year-old centre-back, who looks really decent for this level of football, so hopefully he will come to us. We've also signed James Granger, centre midfielder, and Reese Williams, who's a right-winger. So they were just signings really to bolster the squad, a bit of competition for places, any injuries are covered for, any suspensions and all that snaz. So in terms of the team selection for today's game, going with the man in form as all, I think it's the same team as last time on my last episode. We've got Grant Ryan up top. The guy is just on fire. What are we up to now? 26 goals and 12 appearances. Uh, listen, I don't think I've had a striker in any of my FM saves with that stat. And we've got Templeton, Coney and Woolley. Coney struggles here a bit, I think, but after his amazing goal last time, you can't not put him in. McCluskey and Salis as our uh, defensive mids. The standard as again. Koji, Anton, Trihi and Asamoah as our back four. I think was exactly the same as last time. And Hammond is just played in goal all season for us. So obviously that's not going to change. So let's get into the team talk. Let's get the players out on the pitch. And let's see what we can do today. Let's pick up where you left off from last game and then the standard higher faith in every single review does wonders it works every time without fail and here we go let's get right into it no highlights again today guys because the amount of goals on the show would just take up half an hour of the episode already i don't want that so no highlights straight into the game and that's a good challenge there, it had to be. That was a free kick. Oh, he's offside. I thought Ryan might have fouled him. I was like, what? what happened? I couldn't say it had to be a good challenge because Ryan was in. Husky got a free kick at the edge of the box. Fine. I don't know who he found, but Anton handled the ball. I don't know how he did put it in the net anyway, but Anton handled it. So it would not have counted. Now we have the throw in Antonio to Logie. Finds Adams, goes back out wide to Antonio. Plays the ball really long. 
and we cover quite easily. And that's a beautiful pass to Grant Ryan. Oh, he's offside again. He's offside again. That's twice already in 13 minutes. Nevertheless, Asamo has it. He finds Salas, who tries to get across him, but he can't beat his man. But ball slowly rolls back to the tree. Trahi, tree, God knows. This time picks up Ryan, and he's offside for the third time in 13 minutes. It's a great finish. I thought he was on this time, but that, mate, you got to hold your line. A lot better than that. No end. Goes out to Anton. Crosses the ball. I think he's at centre back. I'm not sure why he's on corner duty. Must be one of our best corner takers, that's for sure. Finds Trehe. Who looks at a Koji, but it makes it difficult for him. And he, he is second best to that ball. And now Adub, Adibo Wally. Ad, Ad, yeah, we'll just call him Adibo. Should have probably scored there. And he didn't. Which I'm grateful for. Ah, uh, yeah, a keeper should have, I would have thought. Easy peasy. That's about 20 minutes in. No real highlights as such, like any proper goal scoring opportunities. Just three offsides. How and just boots it along. This is a norm for us at the moment. Boot it along to Ryan. Hmm. Anton there to sweep up at the back. This time Brian is on side. He does get there. Does he finish? He's not on side. He was off side again. I could have sworn he was on. I could have sworn he was on that time. Four off sides in the first half, Brian. That is uh, shocking. Up to the 34th minute. 34th. Oh, we haven't scored yet. This is new to us. We normally won up, at least by now. Never mind, Ryan hits it from the edge of the box, and he, he just puts it into the bottom corner. 27th goal of the season already for Ryan. And that is that's an amazing goal to score. It's just tucked right into the bottom corner. The keeper probably has no chance, I'm going to say. Here we go. He just pulls him nicely there. Picks his spot. Easy. As you like. 1 0. As I was saying, we're normally 1 0 by now. I'm glad we're keeping the tradition. But is that going to be the only goal of the half? Danton takes another corner for us. Crosses it to McCluskey, who should be hitting the target. That should be going in, McCluskey. Oof. Hopefully, all these misses and offside won't come back to bite us in the backside. 1 0. It's half time. Go into the dressing room. I know your kit will be better. You look bad, but I can improve on every single one of you. Get the motivation going. I'm thinking if we take Brian off, he's having a good game. I, I like uh, Tom Collins. He, he did really well on his, you know, the day he had to step up. He did step up. And we probably expect him to step up again here. Never mind, it's with Coney, who finds Woolley, who finds Asamoa. Asamoa tries to beat his man, doesn't get there, but will get... Never mind, he runs out of play. <laughs> I thought he was going to keep the ball alive, but that didn't happen. McCluskey to Templeton. Templeton's probably going to play it wide, he does, to a Koji. Plays it straight back to Templeton, that's a nice little pass for that. What can Templeton do with it? Nothing. He hits it against his defender, and it goes out for a corner kick. Anton taking this side as well? No, it's Woolly this side. What can you do? He find well, he looks for Templeton. Doesn't find him. McCluskey hits the bar. And they clear. And Trehe cross it back in. No, he cannot. Hits the defender yet again. Another blocked cross. That's the end of the highlight, apparently. Ooh. Time is... Rickling away quite quickly here. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Another highlight of the big old kick. Should I be nervous? Goes to Walford. Finds Ironton. Logie. Ironton. Plays it out wide to Beer. I like that surname. That's pretty wicked. 
Mackinder. Is it onto Walford? No, Asamo was there. Asamo was there to intercept and then played the long ball over the top for Ryan. Can he get his second? No, he cannot. Why is it that Ryan has an absolute stormer for me when I'm not recording? And then when I do record, he misses chance after chance after chance. Laughs and CSC go 1 0 up as well. They're keeping on our tails, waiting for us to slip up. Personally, can't see it going to happen this year. Oh, that should be another goal as well. That should be going in as well. Tom Collins, let's come in, son. New Simon. New Simon Reese Williams can come in for Jake Woolley. And then we'll take off Tony, I think, for Nico Stokes. We need all three subs at once. Hopefully, nobody gets injured and nobody gets sent off. Fingers crossed. All oh, attacking subs, too. I won a second goal. Oh no. Oh no. We've conceded from a free kick. The keeper got beat as near post. I mean, it's a cracking cross. I'll give Walford that. That is a good ball into a very dangerous area. It's not a bad volley either. One all. One all. We're dropping some points. I hope we don't drop points. Can we find a winner with 10 minutes to go? McCluskey finds Templeton. Templeton tries to beat his man, but is dispossessed. But not quite. McCluskey tries a Rabona cross. And looks for Nico Stokes. Doesn't get there, but Okoji gathers it. Goes back to his defenders. Anton looks long to Collins. Does Collins beat his man? No. No, he does not. I think, yeah, he was offside. He was offside. It's not bloody Grant Ryan, Tom Collins. What are we going to do from this? We've got seven minutes left to find a winner. Salas looks long, but he's no Grant Ryan. He ain't looking for that long ball. McCluskey plays it out wide to Templeton, looking for a cross, I believe. He does get it. It's Tom Collins. He hits the bar. That's the second time. It goes back to Nico Stokes. And the keeper saves. That was it. That was the goal we needed. Captain CFC is 3 0 up. They're only going to be a couple of points behind us now. Ah, why is it that all the games that I don't record, like Anton, no. That's the last game of the game, isn't it? It's going to be it. It's going to go. Oh, was he offside? He was offside. Foster. The younger. Heads on to Walford. Who is it? Why can he beat? He can beat his man. It's a long ball all the way across to Ironson. Who loses out? That's the final whistle. The final whistle. Look at that XG graph. And we've only scored once. I'm disappointed. XG is 2.24. We've only scored one goal. 60% possession. <sighs> that is a game we should be winning. A simply pot. Pot? A simply put. It's not good enough, I'm afraid. Aye, aye, aye. Oh, they're right on our tails now. Right on it. Three points behind. Is there any. Who else? Quite close to Lark. Sure. It doesn't look like they played. Okay. I'm disappointed we drew that. Really disappointed. We could have. We needed to keep our lead. To the top of the table. My ultimate our chance of playing. That's the truth. Now unbeaten run goes on nonetheless. What is it up to now? 10 games unbeaten. It's not bad. So in terms of. When I'll be coming back for the next recording, I'm probably going to say it's going to be against Clapton CFC. Second place, unless Hilltop, they've been playing quite well this year, I believe. I know there's six, but I don't think there's much in it. Ten points. So unless in these games between there and there, that Hilltop take over Clapton, they'll play Hilltop instead. Or if Clapton, Clapton. 
is uh, about Lovely Clapton. I'm afraid, guys, that's also going to be it for this episode. It was a bit quick this time because the, the game didn't show many highlights. I guess there wasn't many to be shown. And the ones that were shown were just offside. There were no goal view plays to be shown at all. So, yeah. A one or draw. I can't get over it. I can't get over it. Thank you all for joining me. It's always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next episode. Adios.